All right, here with Abby Norton. Uh, Abby, you just got back from competing at the Thorpe Cup in Germany. You got third place, uh, a big win for the United States. Um, why don't you just tell us a little bit about your uh, your trip over there and uh, kind of the process you went through? Um, well, basically, um, I got selected to go over there, which I was really excited about. Um, and then, as I found out over there, I was going to be one of the scorers. They only have five that are eligible to score, and we take seven over. So it was really cool to have um, something to compete for again because I haven't really had that, you know, since I was post collegiate and just still competing. Um, you know, it's hard once you take that uh, that school jersey off and you have, you know, to figure out a way to get, you know, something to compete for. And so that just kind of gave me that extra oomph that I needed, I think. So just that um, was a great experience, just having that, again, to have a team. Um, and then the USA team was just the greatest thing ever. But, um, you know, the experience there was great. We, we get over there, and there's a family that basically was who showed us around everywhere. They took care of us, brought us from the airport to our hotel, and was basically our tour guides the whole time we were there. We were in a city called Marburg um, in Germany, and it's just a, an old, old town. It's really a lot of history there. Um, so we got to do all that kind of stuff. They had a castle. We toured this castle, and just a really cool little town. Just, um, you know, Definitely could tell that I was in another country. I <laughs> felt really far away, but it was a really cool experience. Um, i trying to think. They did a really good job of, of um, it was just USA and Germany, so we would have dinners together. We would have activities. We went canoeing, and, you know, they would make us mix, and the, the fact that, you know, they basically all can speak English was really, really cool. Um, so we got to know the, the German team really well, too. Um, Along with the, the girls, there was also seven guys that came over with us too. So it was a pretty good sized group um, and it was just a lot of fun. Got to know each other really well and just really got to feel that team thing again. So, and then being over in another country and competing internationally was a really cool experience. Now for those that don't know, uh, the Thorpe Cup is, uh, is a multiple events or combined events uh, meet. Uh, just talk a little bit about how that works and how the meet works. Um, basically, um, like I said, we had seven girls, so it's supposed to be seven girls, seven guys, um, versus Germany, seven girls, seven guys, um, and what they do is they have five that are eligible to score, so basically it's a really good opportunity for a little bit underdeveloped kids to go over there and just get an opportunity to compete internationally. Um, but they wouldn't add into the score. And what they do is, um, if you know about the heptathlon or the decathlon, you have one large score at the end. Each thing that you do is worth a point value, and then you have your overall score at the end. And what they would do is um, combine that, like all the USA girls, the five girls that are going to score, they have that number, and then they have the five German girls, and whoever has the highest out of that wins. And um, since we started with the heptathlon, the guys have been doing this for 15 years or something like that, but they just um, brought the heptathlon into it, and since we started that, I think it's been four or five years. Germany has always won, but the U.S. won this year, so we were really excited about that. Um, and the guys, the guys only lost by 13 points when you're talking about, I think the overall score was like 18,000, something, something, something. You know, that's a lot of points and to only lose by 13 points is really a small, small, small um, amount. So they almost had it, almost had a double U.S. victory, but it was really fun. Uh, you had a couple PRs, PR in the Javelin, PR in the 800, and then your overall score was a career, you know, a lifetime best. Um, Let's talk a little bit about your performance and uh, uh, how you felt and everything. Um, a really cool part about this meet was that each individual winner of each event, so I won the hurdles. Um, I had the best time in the hurdles, and you get uh, an award. They had different awards for every event, so for the girls, seven different opportunities to win a prize, and mine was a watch and a jacket, so it was just like something little that was cool. Um, but yeah, it started out great. The hurdles went really, really well. I had a solid first day. I think I had a first day PR just by a little bit, so I knew that in order to 
you know, PR overall, I had to, had, to, had to have a good second day too, and I did. Um, a couple events could have been a lot better, which is exciting um, since I still PR'd overall. So I feel like I have a lot of room for improvement, which is really exciting. Um, and then my two PRs in the Javelin and then the 800, it just, I was ready to PR in a lot of events, and those just happened to be the two that I happened in. So I was pretty happy to have a couple PRs. <laughs> Now you competed here as a Hoosier, and and now you're a coach, um, but yet you're still you're still competing. Um, how does the experience you get now help you uh, pass that along to uh, your current student athletes, and uh, you know show them that they can get to these places from where they are now? I just really love that I'm still experiencing everything that they're experiencing. You know, I know the things that are going through their head. I know the hardships, and I know the success, and all of that, and and. I feel like that I'm able to relate to them on that level a lot. So I can have some really good conversations and have a lot of, um, you know, advice and I can help them a lot, you know, because I've been doing this for a long time and I've, I've had a lot of experiences and I feel like, um, you know, I know what works and what doesn't work and I'm still learning things too. And even this meet, I learned so much this meet, just being around the most successful um, athletes and just seeing how they are able to spin anything in a positive way and you know in the heptathlon especially you have to be able to move on from if you had a bad event you have to be able to put it behind you and move on and so there's so much mentally that goes into it and in track and field in general there's just so much mentally um, and you know we do our best to prepare these kids physically and, and you know everybody's always ready to do something big but it's just you have to decide yourself that, that you're ready for that kind of thing and I feel like you know the experiences that I've had I can I can teach them and, and let them know how they need to spin everything in a positive way and that um, you know that's what helped me over there this this week is that's what I learned is that everything you can take um, and spin it positively and you're going to end up with a positive experience regardless so that's a big thing that I learned and I'm definitely going to pass that along to the kids once they get here um, you know Coach Homer talks about that all the time about how we need to be positive and ignore what we think we're feeling and da 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 um, but I actually experienced that personally and you know it's not just blowing smoke it's true you just you know so that's the stuff that I learned and I'm excited to pass that on all right, well, congratulations, and uh, thanks for talking with me. Thanks.